Enemies here! Man the cannons! Is it dangerous? Edward. Hmm? Privateering. Is it dangerous? Wouldn't pay so nice if it weren't. Well, why not sail with the King's Navy? Earn a proper wage? Sail under gentlemen? Sod the Navy's gentlemen. For every shilling I'd earn, the captain gets 600. That's no way to earn a fortune. We don't need a fortune. It's not about need, Caroline. I want food that don't make me sick. I want walls that hold back the wind. I want a decent life. How long would you be gone with these privateers? A year, I reckon. Two at the most. All right. No more than two. Promise me. <laughs> Was it good for you as well? Havana. I must get to Havana. Well, I'll just build us another ship, will I? I can pay you. Isn't that the sound you pirates like best? One hundred Eskimos. <sighs> K-1. 
Keep talking. Will you or won't you? You don't have that gold on you now, do you? To you, Snigsby! You run into. Follow and I'll kill you. We could work together on this.
Senor Duncan Walpole. I accept your most generous offer and await your arrival with eagerness. If you truly possess the information we desire, we have the means to reward you handsomely. Though I will not know your face by sight, I believe I can recognize the costume made infamous by your secret order. Therefore, come to Havana in haste, and trust that you shall be welcomed as a brother. Suma su humilde servidor, el gobernador Laureano Torres y Ayala. Mr. Walpole, let's collect your reward. Kingston, where to commandeer this lover's ship and follow. So, sorry, uh, Kingston? No, no, our destination is Havana. I'm just a merchant. Try it, you bleeding pirate. You'll hang for the mess you made out there. Sir, I had nothing to do with this attack. My crew and I have merely anchored to water and resupply. Hold it! Stop them! Give me one reason I shouldn't vent your skull. Take my sugar! Take anything you like! <laughs> oh, I'll pay you! Anything you like! Oh god! Oh god! Take my sugar! Take anything you like! Sugar, take anything you like. <laughs> ah! By God's grace, sir, you saved me. A profusion of thanks. Is that yours? It is my vessel, yes. But 
So here lies its poor captain, and I have no art for sailing. I can pilot her myself, no mind. You don't mean to abscond with my ship, do you? I'm Duncan. What's your name, friend? Steed, Steed Bonnet. Well, Mr. Bonnet, let this stay twixt us. But I'm on a secret errand for His Majesty the King, God save him, and I must get to Havana with speed. Ah, oh, that is a relief, sir. Havana is also my destination. Our ways lie together. Natural allies, then. Ah, oh, you put me at ease, sir. To think I took you for a pirate when you first appeared. Did you? Yes. You have an uh, uncommon way of handling yourself. Quick and easy, if I may say. Gave me quite a fright. All things considered, I think it's turned out to be a rather fortuitous day, hasn't it? Lacking a rowboat, I'm afraid we'll have to swim to my ship. Hardly the worst thing to happen. This is difficult. I should have taken the coat off. Board, Duncan. She's a modest schooner, but well suited to my purpose, trafficking cargo from my plantation and such. She'll do fine. There's a strong wind now. Let's strike to full, shall we? Ah, there's a tug of the wind at my hair. Ah, I find a bracing comfort in the feel and smell of the ocean. The raw stink of... of possibility. That's a top way of seeing it, mate. You're a natural sailor, Duncan. I did a decent trick at the helm some time ago. Two years before the mast as a privateer. Dash my buttons. Your life seems a grand one, if I may say. So full of adventure. How marvelous. I've seen my share of strangeness, I. 